those tourist traps that you hear about, you know, uh, on the way to certain destinations? It's just like, check this out, da 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 da. You know, come on down, and the, you see those signs. You see the like, see the giant bowler shaped like a like an acorn. Anything, yeah. See, come see the jet. Come see the giant cow. His name's Fester. Yeah, so <laughs> I I would say uh, you know that you folks are missing out of the opportunity of a lifetime if you don't come see what we got to show you here. Mm-hmm. So I would say that there are several like things that have a lot of destinations on it. For instance, Route sixty six has some of the best destinations on it in terms of just like seeing it, like some of the best stuff that America has to offer. And I would say, I would say that's probably, you know, if you're on your way to somewhere, you know, you might as well enjoy the trip. Might as well enjoy the ride and see, uh, see some stuff on the way. And that's basically what we have here. Uh, they were heading down to, uh, they were heading down to, I forget the name of the city that they were going to, to visit their teacher. And on, in route, they are going to Rush Valley, which is... Uh, according to Winry, the mecca of uh, auto mail workers. So, also, my brain wants to tell me that it's the name of an arc in this show that I've heard people mention before. Maybe. So, maybe I feel like something significant could potentially go down here. Maybe it will. I mean, you'll have to see for yourself. But let's just uh, let's just go ahead and jump in. This is the Miracle at Rush Valley, episode 11 of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Here we go. There's a lot of zeros. It really is unusual. Everyone take a look. Uh oh. Go watch. It sounds like you guys had a run in with Panina. We're going to have just one more look at that auto mail. <laughs> the auto mail shop run by an engineer named Dominic. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, it's like, can I see your arm one more time? I'll give you a purse. I'll give you a first class look at it right in your freaking eye. Or your other one, you know, the one that's not, you know, messed up. Nick, how long like y- you've watched Naruto, right? Mhm. <laughs> Chidori! <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> yeah. It's the same sound effect for the Chidori. Oh. It's the screaming bird. Yes. Aha! Uh-huh. <laughs> Pickpocketed the wrong dude. Damn. Wow, so cool. Nimble little mix, isn't she? Uh oh. Gotcha. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, and... Holy crap! Oh. Not until I got a closer look at that auto mail! <laughs> <laughs> Incredible! Uh, I was gonna say, gearheads, am I right? I guess so. <laughs> Honestly, it's like I hear gearheads fawning over, just like, oh my gosh, look at that crankshaft, look at the, look at the, dude, look at everything, oh! I've never heard anybody act like that. <laughs> I have. Sheesh. Don't look at me, miss. I wasn't the one who made them. I am. <laughs> Jesus. Are you telling me if my auto mail was lighter, I'd grow taller than this? It is a possibility. Whoa, brother, you're so big! <laughs> 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 okay, okay, that's funny, but come on, Ed, be real. Make me your apprentice. Not a chance, girl. <laughs> Maybe Damn. you'd like more time to consider the idea? I was in a train accident when I was a kid. It killed my parents. I wound up losing both my legs in the wreck. You look like the most miserable, pathetic girl in the entire world. Nothing annoys me more than mopers like you. Let me go, you mean old man. I was outfitted with auto male legs. From now on, I'll work honestly to pay him back myself. I should probably give this thing back. Mm-hmm. Something's in here he's too embarrassed to let anyone see. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget, up to 
October 3rd, year 11. That's another one of those dates that uh, persisted outside of the show. Because you'll see fans of the show make like Facebook statuses on October 3rd every year. Mm -hmm. So they're always like, don't forget October 3rd. It's no. kind of like remember, remember. Yeah. yeah. The baby's coming! The baby's coming! Full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> Calm yourselves. That camera angle. It's like, by the way, while everyone else is freaking out, here's Winry's butt. Right now, the only choice we have is to defer to her knowledge and the sheer force of her nerve. True. <laughs> oh, that blood. I can't do it anymore. Yay. Alchemists have worked for centuries and we're still not able to do that. A person creating another person. You've got to be kidding me. Now you're lumping in alchemy with the miracle of birth. I saw it. The engraving that's inside your pocket watch. I haven't shown that to anybody, not even Al. I had to give what happened that day substance and then carry it around with me as a reminder. I want to hone my skills so I'll be able to make you the finest quality automail prosthetics. That way you can continue your journey knowing you're as strong as you can be. Panina. Hmm? Hey, Abigail! You hit me with your right arm! I can hit you again with my left if you'd prefer! Hello there, I'm your granddad. Cause nobody taught Ed not to hit girls. Cutie. We are truly in your debt. What you did was amazing. Oh my goodness, now you're gonna make me blush. Oh. <laughs> Maybe you could make an exception and take on an apprentice? I can recommend you to an accomplished engineer at the base of the mountain. I won't stop you from coming once in a while. And make sure to steal that old man's technique so you'll have something even better for me the next time I see you, okay? <laughs> That arc that was in the original series, it lasted a little bit longer, and there were actually, like, uh, you actually saw characters that were in the arc in this, but it was like like a quick glance. You only saw them in, in passing. It seems to be the theme, like, the original had more time to flesh out each part, basically. Yeah, and there's also something else. Um... The old man eventually did, uh, eventually relented and said, yeah, you can come up and you can be sort of like an apprentice. And it was after he found out who Winry's grandmother is. Because yeah. turns out he knows Winry's grandmother, Panako. He's just like, what? You're Panako's granddaughter? So that never like, happens in this one at all? No, yeah. unfortunately. And he, he's just like, he's like, that crazy old bat actually reproduced? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... <clears throat> also, there was uh, there, there were several things that I will definitely say they did very well in this and uh, as compared to the original, but in terms of it, um, Winry staying here and in uh, Rush Valley and honing her craft as an auto mail engineer. I mean, it's sort of it it's sort of a a change of pace as well because we're used to her being in in, you know, with her grandmother because that's where she learned uh she learned everything, but now she's even closer to Ed and Al. Uh she well, when they're back in Central, she'll be a lot closer to them. So yeah, that's another thing too. It almost seems like it would have been better to actually watch the original show, at least up until the point where it starts to go off track from the manga and then pick up with the show. I would say when, I'd say the, the fifth laboratory, uh, the uh, after the fifth laboratory arc in the original, then switch over to this. Was that the previous thing we just saw where it blew yes. up? Yes. Well, but like you just said, this arc was like also more expanded. It was, but honestly, it, uh, let's see, I forget, let's see, I forget when exactly it happened in the original, hold on, let me make sure on something. Dang, so it took them 26 episodes to get to Rush Valley? Apparently so, yeah. Yeah, so it really was a lot more fleshed out, apparently. It's kind of like DBZ Kai, like they're moving, like, 
triple speed in there. Yeah, it's a breakneck pace in that. Yeah, it was like, uh, I finally watched like the first few episodes of DBZ Kai after I finished Dragon Ball, I think last year is when mm-hmm. that was. And I was just like, holy crap, man. They got like through the first like 15 episodes of Dragon Ball Z in like one episode. <laughs> like it was fast. Some of those are just, yeah, some of those are just, I'm, I really wish that they would do that with a show like One Piece. Although they have done the movies, I think, I think a recapping of it through a through a series like One Piece Redux or something like that, I think would really, I think would really just make it to where that show and that series is much easier to access than what it is right now. I just think a lot of anime need like definitive editions that get released with like all of the filler edited out of them. Yeah. Like, I've, it's made me actually want to do it for a hobby. Like, I want to go into, like, Naruto, and I want to take out every time that they flash back something more than one time. Because that would cut out, like, a good, like, three episodes worth of the show. Yeah. Alone. And then I also want to just cut out, like, the things that are considered to be, like, complete filler. Like the bullshit they fillers. They were not in the manga at all. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I think you could actually watch the show a lot quicker that way. Oh, yes. Yeah. They flash back the same things over and over and over. And I'm just like, dude, we remember. Like, stop. Like, just get on with it. Yes, get on, get with, on with it. Get on with it. Uh, well, thankfully, <clears throat> you don't really have that in this show. Uh, that's one thing mm. I like about this show is that it progresses at such a brisk pace. It's like, even uh, My Hero Academia, like, it flashes back a lot, too. But thankfully, they flash back more often than not in places that kind of have an impact to an extent. Yeah. Like, just to let you know, like, this is what's in that character's head was this event when they said this thing. And on occasion, when I'm editing, I'm like, we get that, so I can leave the flashback part of it out, you know? Mm -hmm. Unless they're just literally talking over the flashback, which they've started doing more recently, which I think is better, because at least... While they're flashing back those scenes, the character is saying their current thoughts out loud or something, you know? Yeah. So it's not just a copy and paste of an old scene. All right. Yeah. But, yeah. I don't know. It just flashbacks irk me. <laughs> Fla- flashbacks irk me when they are used to show things you have already seen. That's what they irk me. Like, if, if, so if, if you flash back to tell a story from the before times that you've never seen before, that's fine. Like, but... Yeah, repeating the same things over and over. Like, you, you remember this? You remember this? Yes, I fucking remember it. It was 12 episodes ago. It's like, um, I won't remember it two years from now, but you don't have to tell me 12 episodes later. <laughs> fair enough. In the same season. <laughs> All right, well, I think that's going to do it, everybody. So uh, this was Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, episode 11, Miracle at Rush Valley. So until next time, everybody, spending off. I'm Nate. I'm Kate. I am Nick. And uh, this is Callie. And that's Asher. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.